so just a little word about something called the noitavastya okay so we're just this is important when we are studying field theory this deals with symmetries of the field or what what properties of uh, arise what conserved quantities arise because of the symmetries in the field so again let's draw a comparison between uh discrete and continuous mechanics so we said in continuous mechanics whenever there is a so this is discrete mechanics and this is continuous mechanics so whenever that the lagrangian whenever there is a change okay let's say whenever there is a so we move the coordinate q to we so we produce a small variation in in the coordinates and we displace the coordinates by a small amount and we, if the lagrangian does not change okay if in both when you in both cases the lagrangian does not change okay then we say that there is a symmetry okay there is a, a symmetry and there arises a conserved quantity right so if there is if the lagrangian is uh, invariant under this transformation there is a particular conservation law there is a particular conservation law there is a conservation law or a conserved quantity that arises because of that so here similarly we have the field phi and when the phi field, field phi is deformed to a particular by by some particular amount del of phi let's add an additional infinitesimal parameter alpha then if the lagrangian does not change okay so the lagrangian density the lagrangian density so the lagrangian is invariant under this transformation okay so under such a uh, deformation or a transformation the lagrangian is invariant then you can associate with it a conserved current here in this case okay this there is going to be an associated conserved current and which will produce a, pro, a conserved quantity so we'll see what this means so if let's take for example the flow of a uh, water field okay so let's take for example the flow of a, a water field so as you move along the water field if if you are moving from one point to another if the flow is uniform then we see that when then we can say that the uh, divergence of that field is going to be zero right so divergence of that field is going to be zero right so uh, we can say that the flow of the current right so flow of the water current there is no increase or decrease at any point the flow is uniform so the current flow the the current that we are so the flow water flow current then we can say is divergence less or uh, so uh, divergence less so therefore here that quantity that current that current that is divergence less is going to be called here so we generally denote the current by the quantity j so j u that divergence less quantity is going to be called this is the divergence as well so this del of phi is the deformation in the field that you produce for which there was no divergence okay so this quantity this current is this current has zero divergence so you can check it by taking the so this current j of u has zero divergence so the, here you can see we use this derivative we had defined this derivative so it's a generalized derivative in space time so this you can recollect this is your condition for your conservation of that uh, divergence is zero is, is the condition right in three dimensional space time this is the 
condition for a divergence less speed. So the same we have reproduced here. And the conserved quantity is the, so the conserved quantity here, so to calculate the conserved quantity, we have to pick out the zeroth component of J and integrate it with respect to all of space. Okay. So this will be your conserved quantity and this is called your conserved charge. Okay. So uh, current has a conserved charge. So this is your conserved charge. So this is Noether's theorem. This is a very important theorem in uh, continuous mechanics and we will use it uh, as we go along.